G'day guys, Derek Best, Beacon Fight for Life. It takes a lot of um, people to make the world go round, and especially people that have got compassion and empathy for their communities. Um, today, I have the great pleasure of speaking with Ghislaine, who is the executive manager of the Spears Centre in Heathridge in the northern suburbs of Perth, WA. G'day, Ghislaine. How are you going? Hello. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for doing this with me today. You're, you're welcome. No, um, I read on your website that at the Spears Centre in Heathridge, you guys aim to create a caring and resilient community by providing practical and innovative services. What do you actually, what services do you provide? So our services range from, um, we have two umbrellas to what our centre is all about. Mm -hmm. So we have the financial counselling um, side of things okay. um, where we provide financial advice just you know around budgeting and things like that um, for the um, city of Joondalup residents okay um, we also provide um, emergency relief um, we target um, people who are um, close to homelessness and we make sure that they um, have the services or are linked and have access to the services that can assist them mm -hmm. um, we also um, provide um, uh, crisis support so we link them to the services they might need when mm -hmm. they need it straight away um, we also have the community um, services center um, side of things which is linked towards um, providing our community with um, programs and services around um, reducing isolation um, we could have things like chair yoga activities or um, you know um, mental health support sessions mm -hmm. or crash support for people um, attending certain um, uh, sessions peer support programs at our center so their okay. kids are, can be looked after as well so it's a combination so you basically provide emergency relief in the northern suburbs of Perth yes we do I noticed on your website that everyone, your volunteers or staff, are, are women. Do you only provide the services for women? No, we provide services for everybody, anyone who's in need, mm. um, who's at risk of homelessness or just, you know, facing financial hardship um, or homeless as well. Um, mm. It's a combination of things. So I guess it would take a lot of people to make this work because yes. it is a... How big is it? Do you know how many people in your, in your district? Um, so roughly we see about 120 to 160 people per week um, depending on what services we are providing during that week or what programs we have going on at the centre mm. or events as well mm -hmm. um, so roughly about 6,000 people per year that we see within that cohort but we also see um, so it's not just the city of Joondalup it's also city of Wanneroo and city of Stirling residents okay come through so can I live anywhere in Australia or in D Perth to to obtain the services? Yeah, from you, you can live anywhere within, um, well, um, WA. Mm. Um, however, if you reach out to us, we will link you to the right services that you need at that time. Mm -hmm. um, and we predominantly provide support within the city of Joondalup because we are situated there. Mm. However, we do um, reach out to the city of Wanneroo and city of Stirling residents. You provide food too, don't you? Yes, we do. We have um, food assistance for those mm. that need it. We mm. have um, a budget a fund for that. So okay. yeah. And people can just walk in there and get food or how does that work? Yes, so they just walk in um, and they let us know what um, you know hardships they're facing or anything like that. We mm. take certain, certain details um, and we provide them with what they need. And it's all confidential? Oh yes, very confidential. Is everyone that works there or everyone that's there a volunteer? No, we have um, a um, team of staff mm. of about of, um, 12 staff with some casuals thrown in there. Um, and we also have um, volunteers, about 12 volunteers. Okay. And I guess, you know, it, it costs a lot of money to run an operation like that. How do you guys get funded? So we have um, funding from the Department of Communities, Department of Social Services. We have uh, several funding bodies who um, provide us with funding. Mm. Um, however, it's never enough for what we're trying to do, mm. um, especially with um, the cost of living crisis, mm. um, the housing crisis, and um, the funding's just not on par 
with the cost of living. So um, any donations, any we really rely on our community to provide us with donations, whether it's in through, you know, blankets or food or um, money donations. Mm. It's we rely on our community. So I hear that uh, you're doing a, a co. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You work with the Lions Club of Whitford to yes. do a barbecue to be able to give you funding as well. Yes. So um, the Lions Club of Whitford have... Collaborate. Kindly, Collaborate uh, is the word I was looking Yes. <laughs> Collaborating with us and um, helping us out by hosting a um, bunny sausage sizzle in Balcatta mm. um, in July. So that'll be... Look out for that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Everyone loves a sausage at Bunnings. Always. <laughs> um, now... You hear a lot of news on, the, or you hear a lot on the news these days. And is it is it real? Is it, is there a is there a, a crisis at the moment? Are you seeing more people come through the doors? You know, the housing crisis and the cost of living um, crisis is really impacting our community at the moment. Mm. Um, we've seen a huge increase in um, demand for food assistance and also just in general um, for facing financial hardship people are just not meeting their rent um they're not able to keep up with um, utility costs and things like that and this is where we can help okay so before we wrap it up um i've got a i'm guessing people that are watching this are going to feel embarrassed or you know feel that you know a sense of less by coming to your, your premises what would you like to say to them about that because i'm guessing it's you know everyone has tough times and they don't have to feel embarrassed? No, definitely never to feel embarrassed. Um, what we see is a range of clients that come through to us, mm. um, people that have experienced, um, you know, just circumstances have led to where they're, unfortunate circumstances have led to where they're at at, mm. at the moment. We provide support and um, confidentiality to anybody that walk through, who walks through our doors. Mm. So we encourage anyone to reach out um, before it gets to the really hard times. Mm. So come to us so that we can help you to get you back on track and earlier. I, and I dare, dare say there's no judgment. Oh, definitely not. Our team, um, you'll see if you go to our website, um, our team are all very friendly and um, we try to help in any which way we can. Okay, so well, to wrap it up now, how can people get hold of you or how can they donate or how can they yep. become a volunteer? So the best way would be to go to our website, so thespearcentre.com.au or they can just call the centre on 9401 2699. Mm -hmm. um, it's the best way to get in contact with us. Um, but also there are links on our website to volunteer and to also um, donate. donate money um, or even donate items if you've got any food, especially um, with the winter months coming up at the moment. We've got a winter appeal going for blankets or just for money in general so that we can provide the support that people need. Mm. Um, but yeah, if they just contact us through those channels. We've also got a Facebook. Um, so if you message us through fa Facebook, that would be great. Um, the number one thing you'd like right now, blankets, you know, d with what would be coming into winter, I'm guessing warm. Yeah, blankets, definitely blankets, socks, anything warm, um, and also um, food. Food's always something that we need. Just pantry items um, will mm -hmm. go a long way. Nappies. Yes, um, toiletries, feminine hygiene products, um, yeah, a range of things. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you. Um, it, again, it takes a lot, a lot of courageous people to, to do what you're doing. And I'm not saying, you know, just because we, we need the world to, people in the world to make uh, people like you to make the world go around. <laughs> um, tongue twisted there. And thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. So, again, guys, Derek Best, Beacon Fight for Life. Make sure you take the time to smile today. Thank you.